Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the Viticulture Wine Crate Expansion, which comes with the newest um, expansion and a big box that will fit all the existing content in there. So let's see what we get. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel as it greatly helps me out. I'll also be looking at this promo pack that came with it and this other small pack for the Viticulture World Replacement Pack. So I'm not sure exactly what that's about. It looks like in the original printing of the South American content. All right, continent, something went wrong. So go ahead and replace these. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then this is the first game content. This is nine card pack promo. I'm not exactly sure what this entails but i'll let you know if i recognize any of these at all from the main game or if it looks like it's brand new or what the situation is so this all right before checking victory conditions at the end of year six you may choose to flip this event hmm. so this is definitely new i do not have any of these so it looks like these are almost based on the uh, the look and feel of Charterstone. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure about weird. It just took me off, off guard. Okay, so anyway, we've got some interesting things here. I'll have to see how that all plays in. Looks like they add some, some different actions. All right, now, as far as this is concerned... This does look cool. This is bulging just a smidge, but it's not a big deal. I just pushed it back in. Um, the box itself looks like a crate. There is no other artwork on it. That's fine. It said the wine crate. And as long as all of the content fill, uh, fits in, that includes the uh, Tuscany expansion and the Viticulture game. I don't have the Essential Edition. I actually bought all of this prior to any of those, um, whatever you want to say, streamlining sessions where they took out some of the stuff so i've got a lot of content so we're going to see um well we're going to see what's inside here and then hopefully it all fits in here because that's why i got this so that i wouldn't have to lug around two or three different boxes when i decide to play this in different locations okay so taking a look here the inside of it is a nice uh, merlot red maybe and then we have the rule book here for the cooperative expansion for viticulture world so taking a look at what that looks like it has the same layout as the base game here is your player setup and it looks like they're playing with the um oh well the new board okay so we've got um not too many rules here it just kind of changes some of the actions i guess a little bit so that really is not that massive of a rule book by any means. And then you have the, uh, what is that, Buratino rules for solo play. All right. That's right up my alley, of course. So we have just, looks like, just a little bit. They are not too much for those. All right. And then some difficulty levels. So you can try different difficulties here if you want to. So we've got the... Uh, the Demi, the Standard, the Magnum, the Double Magnum, the Imperial, and the Salaman, Salamanazar. Ooh, all right. Okay, stepping into the content now, we've got medium thickness boards here for, looks like, um, oh, that must be the Automa. That's my guess because it's got gears on the back of it. Yes, this is the tiles for the solo play. It says so right there. So we have a couple of those. All right, you can see it is a double layered box. So you've got the bottom and then this inside layer, which is cool. Makes it crate like. Let's take a look at this board here. Now, way back once upon a time, when I got the Tuscany expansion, my board had a kind of a fairly large imperfection. And give a little shout out to Stonemeyer Games. Years ago, replacing it, no problems, which was awesome. So I really appreciated that. No problems, no questions asked. There was no issues. It literally came like that, but I just appreciated the ease with which they did that. Okay, so we have 
this side of the board here. And this looks like, I'm trying to see what this, the difference is here. So there's a lot of different things going on. This is the cooperative expansion board, as you can see. Um, you've got things ordered now, one, two, three, the summer, the winter, and uh, the five different types of buildings. And then on the back, oh, I see. So you've got one that does and one that does not uh, cr contain some of the stuff from the expansion. So like for instance, these, this spot right here is for special building cards that uh, came in the Tuscany expansion. So that's probably a double uh, layered board like that. And I like that, that's cool. So that'll be uh, interesting. I'm also interested to see if it plays with you know, all of the different expansions or just the essential ones or what the story is. So we'll find out. All right, now we've got a white, I, mean, I guess is a placeholder, just taking up space, which will fill. Yep, that's all that is. <clears throat> all right, and then we've got a bunch of game um, containers here for different components bits etc <clears throat> all right so hopefully that will hold all of the content from the other expansions and then finally we have the meat and potatoes of this expansion so on the very bottom here this is what we've got we've got this and let's see what's inside some of these so here this is the whoops this uh opaque bag is filled with blue oh yeah blue hats okay so here's this would be for marking our i'm guessing our winter um workers these are rubber so you should have no issues with them fitting or coming take you putting them on taking them off anything like that they should be just fine i think it's actually a good i don't know if it's rubber but it's definitely like a tpe of some sorts flexible that way you don't have to worry about trying to ram the things on or they're not fitting but you can definitely see they're flexible so i think that was a good material choice there so we've got those and then we have in this little bag what a bell and a leaf all right obviously tokens that will mean more to me when I learn the expansion itself. Then it looks like we have some additional visitor card, or um, yeah, visitor cards. So protective card, please recycle. All right. So we have, these are some extra buildings, an academy, a banquet hall, a gazebo, a shop, a trading post, and a wine press. All right. Then we've got the planner, organizer, grape juice drinker, administrator uh, uh, oh what is that kind of looks like a little reused artwork all right old general baron governess professor queen so these i recognize some of these i'm wondering if they are yeah so they maybe they replace certain things depending on what you got like maybe this planner is well i don't know yeah because this says tuscany on it and this also says Tuscany so I'm sure the rules will specify where those kind of go and how they fit in <clears throat> and then we have these decks so each of these decks um, are what you do I guess to you know figure out how you're going to play this game so this is Europe it tells me it's got a medium difficulty they tell me the setup and rules and then here is the information on what's going on. So these look like maybe they're events of sorts. And then here, maybe these are some victory conditions. The artwork is nice and thematic. That's kind of cool. Card um, quality is very good. They're thick. They don't make me feel like I have to sleeve them, even though I usually sleeve my cards. This game, I bought this game so long ago that I actually did not sleeve any of my cards. So these will probably remain unsleeved as well, just to stick with the, uh, the trend. All right, so that was... That was a Paris one. This looks like a, uh, maybe like a Missouri here, North America. So different things going on in each of these, which is cool. This is set up in rules. Some more information. So it looks like each of these is going to be pretty varied, which I like. And then we've got the Automa here. All right. So we'll have to learn how 
he plays. Oh, that'll be a little bit easier. Just my guess is you flip this over and he puts his guys there, but we'll see. Um, the other Automa was pretty easy to manage too, to be honest. Very hard to beat. I had a time and a half. I think I may have beat him once or twice, but he was not easy. Okay, looks like we've got an India set. Or an Asia set, I guess. This one's easy. So lots of different things here. And then some things that go over the board, it seems. So that's cool. I like how, you know, you've got some big changes, some constructive changes, depending on where you are. Here we've got, I'm sure, in Africa... Uh, difficulty is introductory. Okay, so maybe this is the first one you want to take a look at if you're jumping into it. All right, oh, there we go. That's That was the introductory, and then we've got Africa, which is hard. All right. Oh, I see. So we've got a couple of different things in this one. We've got the Africa, we've got some bot cards, and then we've got this stuff. And it just, now I get it. So that is very reminiscent of the artwork also in Charter Stone too. So I, now I can see that. Okay. So it looks like we have some new mamas and papas here. My guess is they've got to be pretty similar though. I mean, there's only so many structures in the game, but they I see some differences. Like I don't, I don't remember ever seeing any that have the... Uh, the thing there that that uh, gives you the residual income or whatever okay yeah definitely these these are different so you've got all of the guys coming in with this and then the um the big worker the ground day worker so those will be different so i'm guessing you have to use these if you're playing with this expansion the other ones probably do not work anymore all right, looks like the South America ones. So this would be, I'm guessing, where I have to use my replacement deck. And so we'll kind of get into that. But again, really good quality, really good artwork. They did a fantastic job. Stonemeyer Games does a great job with their products. I appreciate the care they put into them. It's good news from a standpoint of the board gamer. So I like that. Okay. And then finally, we've got the Oceana ones here. So, lots of different things. Looks like each of these will be some different mechanics, which is cool. I like that. I'm looking forward to exploring it. This has been one of the games that has stood the test of time for me. I've, I've had Viticulture for many, many years. I play the app. I play it online. I play it in uh, board game form. So, really good. I'm glad to have this expansion. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, this was informative helped you understand what you got in this expansion, what you get if you get the wine crate. All right, everybody, take it easy.